sacre bleu. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Late. Now, why is that not surprising? Nah, no, she's been here the whole time. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Imagine if I came in with my uh My my Geralt. Not bad at all. And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. Huh. Oh. They're a little different, the ones Mandragora members wear. I've brought you one. Put it on. Oh, alright. Well that's better. Any idea why they wear masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. How do we find the Cintrian? Have you a plan? He is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Uh. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions? Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kuviri Orchid, let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Voila! Fine! Now, allow me a moment to ponder. My appraisal? The painting depicts spiritual duels. 
nature. The continual battle between good and evil and defiance. <laughs> oh yes, that's him all right. Good versus evil. The dualistic nature of man. And defiance. Oh, do I not get to keep it? I would totally put it in my house. Yes. Oh. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm-hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your mom. Yeah. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me. I... I've heard... Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think... you may still get your chance. Oh. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But... why? Centrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Centrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it, but I did see the nobleman. Really liked to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. 